Pereira. Hey friends, it's Travplay, here to help in your journey to Elite Smash. If you're new here, then I'd recommend checking out my growing playlist of how to be every character in Smash Ultimate. I've made over 20 videos so far, and I still have a ways to go, so hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know when my next video comes out. And today, I'm going to show you how to beat the recently released DLC character, Terry Bogard. Like always, I'll show you what moves to respect and your weaknesses to exploit. Let's get right into it. Hey, come on! Yes, I believe one of the moves you need to respect the most from Terry Bogard are his jabs. Not because of the damage, of course, but because they are some of his primary ways to pull you into his combos. And I'm just talking about his normal standing jab, but any of his moves that cancel the full animation and quickly move into his special attacks such as down tilt, neutral air, and down air. This canceling mechanic allows him to move in his special moves faster than most characters, making his combos very reliable. And on top of that, Terry will always face his opponent automatically. So this means if you try rolling past him, he doesn't need to touch the L stick to turn around. He can just mash jab or tilt and he'll likely hit you first. So you need to be especially careful around his shield. Don't roll past him or hit his shield with a laggy move or he'll punish you with one of his bread and butter combos, like this. Also, if your character can, try to keep your distance from Terry. The closer you are, the more likely you'll get pulled into his jabs. When Terry gets over 100% damage, then he can perform two of his most powerful moves, Power Geyser and Buster Wolf. They are extremely deadly, especially when incorporated into some of his combos. For example, check this out. Zero Suit Samus is at 0%, and then... This character is broken! JK, JK, JK. I don't actually think he's broken. Yes, he's strong, but he's got plenty of weaknesses, and I'll get into those later. And as for these super special moves, they're complicated to do and take some impressive finger wiggling to perform. <laughs> the point is, Terry can be predictable once he's over 100%. Of course he's going to be looking for an opening to use two of his favorite moves. So don't give it to him. In fact, don't forget, he's over 100%. This is not a time to back off. This is your chance to put a definitive end to the stop. Then he's back at zero. That's honestly the best way to get rid of the threat of his super special moves. Terry's power dunk is a rising and then falling punch. It's often part of its combos, and if he makes the right inputs, it can have intangibility as he goes up. Sometimes, if you press the L stick toward him and angle down during his rising motion, you can escape from the descending attack. Besides combos, Terry's power dunk can also move him away from getting punished, and he can use an edge guard, like so. So give this move respect, especially when recovering. Try not to be predictable how you're going to get back on stage. Terry's burning knuckle is an energy charge. It deals quite a bit of damage and can KO. Besides being part of his combos, this move will often catch you as you're trying to back away from Terry. Respect this move by shielding it, and then punish. Now Terry has a second side special called Crack Shot, where he flips toward you and kicks you hard. This move can flip over your projectiles, so don't get too careless and predictable when you throw them. Terry's Power Wave is one of his most iconic moves. Because it runs along the ground like that, it forces you to approach Terry from the air, which often works in his favor, as he can just shield your attack and then jab you. But this doesn't mean you shouldn't jump over it. Go ahead and jump, but be tricky with your approach. Instead of attacking all the time, you can mix it up and grab. Terry is the only character with a spot dodge attack. That means his punch after a spot dodge comes out faster than any other character's attack after a spot dodge. So if you're the type of person who likes to read spot dodges while holding a smash attack, it may not work against Terry. Before you get into the weaknesses, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want more content like this. 
I'd really appreciate it, and it helps a ton. Hey, come on! Terry's most frequent weakness is his high-risk, high-reward playstyle. So many of his moves can do a massive amount of damage. But if you manage to block or dodge them, then Terry takes a long time to recover, allowing you a lot of time to punish him. So, make sure you're quick to punish. His air and ground speed is pretty slow, and he's the 12th heaviest character in the game. So most characters should be able to catch him and punish him. So make sure that you do. Terry's grab game didn't impress me. His down throw can lead into combos at low percents, but nothing really after that. His forward and back throws don't kill until around 165% of the ledge. His up and down throws don't kill until over 200%. While Terry does have a projectile of his own, it's only effective against projectiles on the ground. If your character can zone Terry out with projectiles of your own from the air, then this can make his life miserable. So go ahead and zone him out and make him approach you. Terry's recovery struggles and is one of his main weaknesses, so make sure to capitalize on it. He can use his side specials and rising tackle to aid his recovery, but they don't help him much if he's far off the ledge. Since his rising tackle doesn't have much vertical height, Terry will typically try to recover high. You can anticipate this and go attack him off stage up high. One thing to note is that if he does use his rising tackle near the ledge, it's often this move will go a bit above the ledge, leaving him vulnerable to an attack. But with the proper input and spacing, his rising tackle can have more invulnerability. Watch him go right through King Dedede's hammer. So, do your best to keep Terry off stage like so. What do you think of Terry Bogard? Let me know in the comments below. Also, thanks for the many requests you've sent me of which characters to make a video of next. I've got a solid list and plan to upload every Tuesday and Thursday. And with that said, see ya!